Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. It is always fun to learn mathematics through activities. So in today's activity, we will learn three easy ways to find center of any circle. But before starting with this activity, let me tell you that we have many more maths art integrated activities, projects on our channel Learning Notebook. You can find the list of all such activities on our website as well. Its link is available below in the description box. Aim of this art integrated project is to find the center of any given circle by three easy ways. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. For this activity, we need few colorful thick sheets, a ruler, a black marker pen, a pencil, a pair of scissors, a protector, a box of crayons and a bangle. Now, let's start with the activity. Let's understand the first way to find the center of any given circle. In the first step, take a red sheet of paper and draw a circle on it using a bangle as shown here. So students, here we do not know the center of the circle. Now, carefully cut out this circle using pair of scissors. Next, take any three distinct points A, B and C on this circle. Join AB and BC as shown here. Now, fold this circle in such a way that point A lies exactly over the point B. Next, unfold this sheet and it will look like this. This dotted line is the line of fold. Now, draw a line PQ along the crease. Next, fold the circle again but in such a way that the point B lies exactly over the point C. Again, unfold the circle and it will look like this. This new dotted line is the line of fold. Draw a line MN along the crease as shown here. So here we observe that the lines PQ and MN intersect at a point O inside the circle, where O is the center of the circle. So students, this was the first way to find the center of any given circle. Students, we have got a very interesting art integrated activity on how to draw in circle of any triangle. You will find the link to this video in the description box. Now, let's understand the second way to find the center of any given circle. Take a blue sheet of paper and draw a circle on it using a bangle as shown here. Then carefully cut out this circle using pair of scissors. Next, take any two distinct points, let's say A and B on this circle and then join them. Now, using a protector, draw an angle of 90 degree from point B. 
it will make the circle at point C. Next, again using a protector, draw an angle of 90 degree but from point C. This will make the circle at point D. Now from point D, draw another angle of 90 degree. This will make the circle at point A. So students, here we have got a square. You will either get a square or a rectangle depending upon where you have taken the points A and B. Now let's draw the diagonals of the square. Join AC and DB. Now here we observe that diagonals AC and DB intersect at point O inside the circle. So O is the center of the circle. So students, this was the second way to find center of any given circle. Students, we have got another very interesting maths art integrated activity to verify the theorem that angles in the same segment of a circle are equal. You will find the link to this video below in the description box. Now, let's understand the third way to find the center of any given circle. Take a pink sheet of paper and draw a circle on it using a bangle as shown here. So students, here we do not know the center of this circle. Now let's carefully cut out this circle using pair of scissors. Now fold the circle vertically as well as horizontally as shown here. Here we observe that these dotted lines AC and BD intersect at point O inside the circle. So O is the center of the circle. So student, this was the third way to find the center of any given circle. So I hope you must have understood and enjoyed all the three ways on how to find the center of any given circle. Do try this activity to learn mathematics in a fun way. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.